Austin Matthews, number 54 for number 34 on Monday night in Tampa, as not only did the Toronto Maple Leafs slay their likely first round opponent in the Tampa Bay Lightning, but Austin Matthews tied the Toronto Maple Leafs franchise record for most goals in a season, a record which he can set tonight as the Maple Leafs cross Alligator Alley and face off against the Florida Panthers. Matthews does it in Matthews-like fashion. 17 minutes on the ice, seven shots, three goals, four points. And now we are looking at a guy who is just on an unbelievable pace, Mike, with 47 goals in his last 47 games. It's an incredible streak. It really is amazing to think about. And when I watch Matthews, what catches my eye is just so often how he scores when the puck's already on his stick. And you think about great goal scorers in the past. You know, I, I my reference point's always Brett Hull. That's who I grew up watching in St. Louis. And he always had a setup man. He had Adam Oates, Craig Janney, Pierre Turgeon, really good players at dishing the puck. And that's not that Austin Matthews doesn't have great chemistry uh, with Mitch Marner. It's there. It's real. It's just that Matthews can do it on his own. And when that's on his stick, there's so few left that can just carry it in and score, Frank. And that's Austin Matthews. And there's a fear factor for other teams going up against him. And, you know, to me, I think that's one of the reasons why at this point he's emerging as the true heart candidate, because I think even Huberto in Florida, I don't think players are scared to play against him as much as they are Matthews, because when the puck is on Matthew's stick, you know what can happen. So he's the best pure scorer in hockey right now. To me, I also think he's the league's MVP. Yeah, I don't want to go too deep into the weeds on the hard trophy debate because I think we could all drive ourselves crazy over these next few weeks with so many candidates. I, I'm starting to narrow down my list, though, maybe to seven guys that will appear uh, in the five spots on my ballot. But I wanted to raise this question with you and tell me if it's too soon. Is it too soon to have the chat about you saw that stat that we just popped up there? goals per game in, in your career, Austin Matthews at 0.63. And you look at his career and these last two seasons, he's at 0.82 goals per game. That's 95 goals in 116 games. So my question to you is this, Austin Matthews now has 253 goals in 398 games. If he continues on at this pace of the last two seasons, he will get to 500 goals in 102 quicker games than Alex Ovechkin. I think we've already kind of settled the debate, and Wayne Gretzky himself has weighed in saying that he thinks Alex Ovechkin is the best goal scorer of all time. He's chasing down Gretzky's record. Is Matthews potentially the best goal scorer of all time, or is it too soon to even talk about it? So much is going to depend on Matthew's health. If he stays healthy, I can't see the Maple Leafs falling off during his tenure there with who they have locked up long-term, at least offensively. I think he has every chance, but you have to have consistency and that's and you have to have health. And those are two things that Ovechkin had. He has, he's had Backstrom pretty much his whole career giving him pucks and he's been healthy. So if Matthews can have that as well, I see no reason why he can't end up right next to Gretzky and Ovechkin at the top of the leaderboard by the time he's done. Yeah, it feels eminently repeatable, doesn't it? It's just the guy's yeah. a machine. He shows up, scores, and it's like nothing ever happened. Uh